Hi, this is Almiri Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine and today we're going to talk about the after one knee rules. The after one knee rules provides us with a set of objective criteria that we can use to decide which patients with injuries to the knee caused by an indirect mechanism need x-rays of the knee. Injuries of the knee is a very common reason for patients to present to the emergency centre but very few of these patients have bony fractures of the knee. There are two important caveats while using the after one knee rules. The first is that these rules are not validated for patients of 9 years or younger or 55 years or older and you should use clinical judgment in these age groups when deciding whether to do the radiograph or not. The second caveat is that these rules are designed for people with indirect mechanism of injury to the knee such as twisting the knee, virus or valgus strain and cannot be used if someone has received direct force trauma to the knee. The first component of the after one knee rule states that if the patient is unable to wait bear for four consecutive steps at the site of injury and in your emergency department, they need x-rays of the knee. There are three further components to the after one knee rules. The first is tenderness at the proximal fibula. The head of fibula and proximal fibula lies in this position. If there is isolated bony tenderness in this area, proceed to x-raying the knee. The second is isolated bony tenderness of the patella. If the patella is palpated and there is isolated tenderness of the patella itself, again, x-ray the knee. The final component is, if an injured knee cannot be flexed to and then beyond 90 degrees, the patient should have an x-ray. In summary, do an x-ray of the knee in a patient with an indirect mechanism of injury to the knee if either they cannot weight pair or if they have bony tenderness at the proximal fibula or patella, or if the knee cannot flex beyond 90 degrees. And that's it. Use of the Ottawa knee rule. Thank you.